Hello everyone, and welcome back to Revival Tournaments. This is Gold Mason, and I am joined once again by my close friend, Z Panther. What's up guys? How you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. So we've got Behe versus Mako here uh, to cap off week eight. Um, both teams, uh, well, the Stark Sharks are doing quite well. The Classy Fellows, not as much. I believe that the Classy Fellows are already out of contention for uh, playoffs, but the Stark Sharks are playoff hopefuls at still. So we're going to jump right in. Mako will be wanting to win this game pretty hard, and Behe will be playing spoiler. Ooh, a Smeargle lead. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> uh, spore... And not a Lumtar. So yeah. probably... Uh... Looks like a suit tower, maybe. Judging by the 40. Yep. Fortress. Fort. Oh, there's the Gengar. Tyranitar and uh, Fortress have the French names, so it's either a McMegan team or pretending to be one. Ooh. Trying to play around the uh, tar waking up just goes to Smeagol. Ooh. Burn is very annoying. Because, yeah, there's the explosion. Three spikes against a 4 team is pretty nice, though, I have to say. Jirachi on 4 uh. Kind of interesting. I wonder what kind of Rachi that is. Oh, oh and there's a clay. Wow, maybe a uh, spinless for you. So that's spin. probably not a pursuit tar. It could be uh, like some kind of physical T tar, maybe like left East DD. Ooh, Jirachi does not want to be taking a burn there. Really interesting team from BH. Although, I guess the Jirachi still kind of walls the Gengar. Yeah, Tyranitar's yeah, coming back in. Uh, this is a uh, most likely explosion off the way he played it. Maybe even something like Destiny Bond. Notably, the Tar is probably Lumberry, does not have leftovers, so it can only come in on those spikes a few times. Ooh, catches the Gengar. A bold play in the face of the tar because had he like gone for an HP bug there, DD'd again. Yeah, would have been uh, very unfortunate for uh, for Mako. Gengar is kind of. Yeah, terrifying. Would be really threatening for this team now, though. When, when... even despite being taunt. When, not Jir when Jirachi walling it is like all you have and the Jirachi is burned, that's terrifying. Ooh, There's that Lumberry. Now Jirachi can safely use Toxic. Yep. I'm not... I, I think I, I think went you for... probably DD again. Because it's going to protect, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I kind of like just Earthquaking there. Instead of DDing at all. Wow. That rock slide is just enough to take Jirachi down. Gengar looking very threatening still. Oh yeah, especially now. Although, spikes are gone. No, spikes are gone. Imagine if Tar had, uh, had Double Edge instead. Yeah, for real. Oh, it is Taunt Gengar. Oh, boy. And I missed Zack in it. That is uh, insane. And this one hits. And uh, Gengar suddenly neutralized. Third spike goes down. Gengar full pars. Oh, 
Yeah, Mako going for some uh, crazy reads. Just trying to pick out a $8 down and coming in. I think also just letting... Uh, taking the chip on oh, for a now. Swamper, yeah. Looking like Endeavor for actually. Yeah. yeah. Goes so on toxic. I wonder if this uh, Blue's Energy team. Probably is. It can just be stalled out. Uh, could fish for like ice beam freezes or uh, like roar out the Milo. It's probably its best bet. Mm. Oh, there's the roar. Notably, because of the three spikes, uh, Pert can come back in eventually uh, later and. Um, at 25% Endeavor is going to be a lot more threatening. Drachi is very threatening here for Calm Minds, so yeah. Yep. Grass kills too? Oh man. Are we super? Do we have Fire Punch? Yep, wow. Looks like it. Yeah, Drachi's probably, probably cleaning up here. Well, then you, a chaos, the you never know. Didi Mence. But the Mence was already oh. faster. Wow. Well, at that point, it's definitely not going to uh, work out for the Rachi. Tragic crit. The Mence was already faster. That's actually pretty crazy. So either a uh, slow kind of oh. super Rachi. <laughs> Another crit for good measure. Just uh, put salt in the wound. <laughs> yeah, depending on last, I mean, that DD Mence maybe had it? Yeah, there was a shot there, possibly. I mean, Swamper might have been able to heal out of range. Well, no, it's Endeavor no, Pert. It's Endeavor so Pert that's going to be a 26%. Yeah. And you outspeed the likely arrow in the back. Yeah, DD Mence may have been able to have that. Yeah. I, I, I can't really see it being another last. Unless the. Uh, that all unless... depends on the uh, Rachi book. The DD Ment looks faster, so if it was like max HP, maybe there's a shot Rachi can live. But, uh. Actually, there's. Hmm, there's a way to tell that, technically, because we know that the Rachi took Surf from Milo, 15%. So, it looks like it probably. I mean, with plus two Calm Mind, if it was going to take 30%, yeah, it probably wasn't bulky, right? Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, so I think Men's had it, unless the last was like a Suicune. Uh, no, I think last is for probably Arrow. It's probably Arrow, but I mean... Like, sub leechy Arrow. I do think that Suicune is very good into Behe builds, technically. Like, Suicune kind of won this matchup. Yeah, true, very true. So... But yeah, great game. Uh, thank you for joining me once again, Z Panther. Of course, glad to be here. Absolutely. And that caps off our week eight coverage. We will see you for week nine shortly. And uh, thank you once again for joining us on another Revival Tournaments commentary. Peace.